What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to bypass the iOS 8.3 activation iCloud lock screen. So in this video I'm going to help you make use of your phone that you may have been burned on. I know a lot of people, myself included, buy phones only to be scammed and in the end you're left with an iCloud lock device which is pretty much worthless. The only worth from it is its price in part. Now in this video my goal is to help you guys bring some sort of functionality to those devices, be able to use them at least as an iPod pod, you know, watch videos, browse the internet, do some things that you would be able to with another phone. Now it sucks. I know it happens, but with this video, at least you'll be able to bring some functionality back. Now this does work on the latest iOS 8.3 firmware. In this video, I'll be showing you, I am indeed running that version on this device. It works on iOS 8.2, 8.1, even the new iOS 8.4. And of course this does work on all devices. It's not strictly limited to iPhones. It works on iPods and iPads as well. Now, the only thing you guys do need is an active SIM card, not an active, it doesn't have to be working, it just has to belong to the carrier your device is from. So this is a Sprint iPhone, I have a Sprint SIM card inside, that's the only requirement. On iPods and iPads, obviously you don't need that. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to run this. We're gonna use a custom DNS server to go ahead and access some parts of the phone we couldn't before. And before we get into that, I just wanna mention one thing. This is the updated tutorial for iOS 8.3. However, in my previous videos, I actually showed you a method to get into the phone and access the actual phone and possibly restore all functionality. If you guys wanna go ahead and try that out, you can go ahead and do that here. Now, the reason you'd wanna do that is maybe your device isn't on the newest 8.3 firmware. It's worth giving that video a shot first before coming back to this one. Anyways, let's go ahead and continue. All right, so this is how you do it. I'm gonna go ahead and start over over here and go to the very first screen. So obviously go through all of these menus right here, set it up to wherever you are. You wanna make sure you do have an active network connection. So you do need Wi-Fi, not actually on the SIM card, but again, you do need a SIM card. So once you're at this page, go ahead and click the home button and select Wi-Fi settings. Oops, not right here. All right, so uh, in here, click on the little eye right there and you wanna go ahead and go to DNS and select all of this and remove that. And we're gonna go ahead and put in this custom DNS server. Here it is, 78.109.17.60. Oops. Now this method, I just wanna mention, it's very unlikely Apple will ever patch it. I mean, it works on pretty much every firmware out there, even the older ones in iOS 7, it's really cool. So you wanna click back, and then once you're done with that, go ahead and select done. So we're gonna give it about five seconds here. I uh, just wanna make sure it loads, okay? And then go ahead and select activate help. Now, if you did everything right, you will see this right here. Now, if you actually are on this page and you can't see the next button, that also happens. Just refresh the page, keep clicking on this guy, go back forward, and eventually you'll click next and end up here. Then click activation help. And now you guys are inside of the custom server. So what is this? What can you do from this? Well, it brings back some functionality to your device. If we actually go into the menu in here, we will be able to see pretty much everything that we do get to do inside of here. iCloud locks, user chat is where everybody that's locked on an iCloud device can chat and uh, communicate, maybe learn something new in there. Uh, in here, you can access the camera. So if you click on the flashlight, I wanna show you how to do this, just click right here, uh, take photo, and now you guys are inside of the camera, which is cool. So uh, it's pretty much just used for flash. So through here, you can just uh, go to video and enable flash in here. It's a long process to use it, but it's cool. The reason I really like this server is because this guy doesn't make any money. He just did this to help people. And now you guys have functionality back on your device. You can go to social in here, access social media, all of these pages, even Instagram. Not only that, I mean, it's not limited to easy stuff like that. You can access the internet, go anywhere from your iCloud lock device. You can also uh, view movies, videos, Netflix. Everything is accessible from inside of this guy. Also, you can listen to music. There's a lot of streaming options in here and applications. Now in here, there's actually a lot that you can do. And again, all of this stuff does not currently work on 8.3. However, you guys can watch that video. I'll have it down below in the description where you guys can go ahead and access the other video, try and crash your device and get into the actual home screen. Now I understand it's not the same as actually being able to use your device, but at least it's something, you know, you can't have everything. And if you get bored, there are some games which uh, work pretty good as well. So that's nice to have. And uh, just to show you guys, I am running the latest iOS 8.3 firmware on my iPhone 6, so 8.3. And again, this does work on the new 8.4 as well, which is nice. 
Uh, otherwise, that's pretty much it, guys. So I know it's not much, but this is a server and it is a temporary bypass for any activation lock device. Now, if you guys are hoping for any full bypass, uh, I would give up on that. It's very unlikely to ever happen because it's it's a server side lock. So. No matter what you do, you guys will never access your device. Don't fall for anybody's scam. This is as close as you guys will get to a full activation lock bypass. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Make your iCloud device useful. I mean, it's better than just sitting there and doing nothing. Now you can do stuff with it. You know, it's a little bit of an option right here. All right, guys, so thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully this helps you. And of course, if I learn anything new about any activation lock bypasses or glitches, I will be sharing that with you. I actually am fascinated by glitches where it will allow you to bypass it and go to the home screen. I really like those, they're fun to do. Anyways, have a great day, guys. Enjoy this temporary bypass. Peace.